Hi folks, introduction to liquid bees. This is Deepak Shanoi from Capital Mind. We encourage active investing and here's an introduction to an ETF called Liquid Bees. It's uh, an exchange traded fund that invests primarily in the money market. So it's safe to that extent. It's also useful for giving margin for options and futures trading. So you buy, you have cash that's sitting near brokerage, you buy a Liquid Bees. It earns money uh, at the money market rate. Today, for instance, it's about 7%. It can be as high as 9%, it can be as low as 4%, but it's actually extra interest on the cash that you own that your brokerage is not going to pay you. You buy this ETF and then you can give it as a margin, pledge it as a margin and trade options or futures or intraday trading through that margin. You will continue to earn interest even if you pledge this uh, liquid bees holding at the money market rate. So today it's seven percent. So if you're if you have a ten lakh rupee cash balance, you will earn seventy thousand rupees at seven percent on an average. Uh, if you place it in liquid bees instead of placing it in cash, that's alpha in a certain way. You can buy and sell this ETF like a stock. The a symbol is liquid bees, and what happens is that you once you pledge it to the stock exchange. Now though usually you don't directly deal with the stock exchange. You just pledge it to your broker, and he takes care of the rest. Warning though, some brokers will charge you interest if you use margins, regardless of whether you pledge stocks or not. So do a small dummy transaction. We have, I have faced this with a couple of brokers in the past where despite my pledging them liquid bees, they have charged me interest in something like 18-24% to 24 on uh, the amount that I have used as margin. I use a broker called Zerodhana which uh, uh, does not charge you any interest uh, on margin uh, uh, stock. So and this is like a stock. So you just place it. It's equivalent to cash. How does this work? Now there's a stock that you always buy and sell at a thousand rupees per unit. Don't buy more. Don't sell more. That's why you have to place a limit order. Don't place a market order. It might not imp might not be executed ex exactly at a thousand. If you place a limit order, a market maker will come in and execute that order at some point in the day. Typically, I have seen it takes about half an hour to one hour sometimes. Uh, at the minimum, I have seen it get executed in five minutes. Every day, of all the holdings that are there, the dividend is paid and it is reinvested back into your account as units. This is called a direct dividend reinvestment. Now, dividend, when it is paid, 30% dividend tax applies. Uh, it's called DDT or dividend distribution tax. If you get 8% in the money market, you will actually make 30% less than that. So in a sense, 30% of 8% is taken away. You make only 70% of it. So 5.6% is your net post-tax return. There's no further tax that's payable on your part. Let me give you an example of how this works. 1000 rupees is one unit. So you buy 5 lakh rupees worth of units. You've got 500 units. And let's just say you're earning about 7 odd percent. There are 365 days in a year. Uh, let me just equate that to 0.02% per day. Now, per unit that translates to 0 0.20 because a unit cost is 1000 rupees. For 500 units, that's 100 rupees of interest that you earn on an everyday. Now, all of this is going to get paid out because they want to retain the NAV back to 1000 rupees. So, 1000 rupees would have otherwise grown to 1000 rupees 0.2 paisa because the interest has been earned by the fund but they pay up the interest anything that's beyond a thousand and a hundred rupees in this case for you for 500 units is paid out but not hundred comes to you the tax of 30 rupees is paid as GDT. the remaining 70 rupees is re reinvested again at thousand rupees so you get 0 0.07 units at a uh, thousand rupees this is a fractional unit. You can't own a fractional number of shares in a company, but you can use, you, uh, own a fractional number of units in a mutual fund. Uh, an ETF is actually a mutual fund. The problem really is you can't sell in an exchange a fractional unit because the exchanges don't have the capability of handling fractional units. You can sell them on the exchange um, after they all add up to one unit. In this example, this is about 15 days of 0 0.07 units each. Um, and you will make uh, five, you uh, will become 501 units that you own, and so on. The more units you have, the faster it will take to get to one unit. Uh, so, a thousand units will take only seven days, or 
10,000 units will probably uh, accumulate one every day and so on. So there's, there's a, there, this is a simplified way of dealing with uh, money market fund on the exchange. Excess cash that you have can easily be deployed. Dividend reinvestment ensures that you uh, your money is uh, uh, compounding on a daily basis and uh, you know there's a tax paid to the government. You can use liquid bees as if it was cash. Most brokers allow this. So when you place a margin, now a broker will request you say, oh, 50% cash, 50% shares, please. So you can take you know some long-term shares that you have and pledge them as margin as well. But only 50% of your margin requirements can be fulfilled by such shares. They will say the remaining has to be cash because um, cash is far more liquid than shares. Liquid bees, because by nature it invests in money market instruments and is extremely liquid, Liquid bees is not treated as a share, it's treated as cash. So you can give 50% of your reliance shares and 50% liquid bees shares. Only use liquid bees if you're using margins for intraday or futures and options. Why? Because let's say you didn't want to, you don't trade futures and options. You just want to store extra cash. It's much better to store growth or money in growth oriented liquid funds. I mean, even if you wanted safety, Buy a liquid mutual fund that's separate from the exchange. You can buy them online on many of these websites or uh, directly from the funds themselves, like an HDFC liquid fund or an IDFC cash fund. All of these are different funds that you can buy, but they're not available on the exchange. These uh, uh, do not have to pay out dividend. They're growth options. So what happens here is that the dividend payouts cost you 30% in liquid bees at every day. So essentially only 5.6% on an 8% return comes in and compounds your return. Whereas in the growth option, the entire 8% comes and compounds your return. When you get out is when you pay tax. Uh, and I'm assuming you don't want to get out very, very soon. So your compounding is slightly better. Also note that some brokers charge you brokerage, some like 5.5%. I think ICICI charges 0.75% uh, by default. Do not use such brokers. If you're going to get 8% in a year and you're going to buy and sell liquid bees uh, for 0.75% each way, that's 1.5% you pay to get a return of 7.5%. You might as well keep your money in a in a fixed deposit or, 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 or you know in, back into your account because the brokerage is going to be much more than the interest you earn uh, if you do many transactions. And change your broker. We use zero the... Uh, which has uh, now zero the has zero brokerage for stocks now they do charge some smaller fees but those are much lesser compared to everything else do visit us uh, subscribe we have a great premium offering we have macro smart caps our portfolios option analysis about uh, which contain newsletters we have a great proprietary snap platform we also have uh, premium content that will come in your inbox and a great set of webinars and videos that you will get to. Uh, love to hear what you have to say. Uh, enjoy trading liquid bees and love to hear your questions. Thanks.